The controversial line is a linear city and part of Saudi Arabia's biggest project, Miam City. A recent video that surfaced on social media shows numerous excavators digging a wide linear trench in the vast desert in the northwest of the Arab nation. It's anticipated that the city's 100 miles of trenches will be fully dug before construction can begin. When this project was first announced back in 2017, the reactions to it were mixed. Some people were excited by the proposed flourishes like flying taxis and robot maids while other professionals questioned whether it will actually be feasible. People were convinced this was just a utopian fantasy, with some saying the project would never get off the ground. Fast forward to today, and the project is now underway. Drone footage of the site shot at the initial stages of construction shows hundreds of trucks and machinery working in the desert preparing for construction. Excavation work along the length of the project is underway. According to previously released renderings, the line will be 170 kilometers long, 500 meters high, and 200 meters wide. The width of the trench being worked on in the video doesn't seem to match the proposed measurements. Much smaller than that. The actual size of the line would ideally be three times this small trench. Therefore it's possible that this excavation was just preparatory work for the underground high-speed transport system planned to be built underneath the length of the city. It's been called the most dramatic project in architecture and construction. It's designed to house 9 million people and it will rise higher than the Empire State Building, with a gigantic facade of elegant mirror glass. The city of the future will be powered entirely by renewable energy. It won't have any traditional transportation like cars or roads. Instead, people will move around using high-speed elevated networks, combining artificial intelligence with a fully sustainable technology infrastructure. Right now the project only exists on a website and in the announcement made by the Saudi press agency. Many design experts think the technology to make such a city doesn't exist yet. According to proposals the line is designed as a series of unique communities and they will be organized in three dimensions of movement, up, down, or across. This idea is known as zero-gravity urbanism. The three layers include a surface layer, best for parks and open spaces, a lower surface layer, and an underground transportation spine that would consist of ultra-high-speed transit. The proposal suggests that all daily commute on the transit would be walkable within 5 minutes of each transit node and will take no more than 20 minutes. Experts have said these goals are unfeasible. To support this level of public transport the line would require larger nodes, and if there aren't enough people at every stop it would be impossible to sustain this infrastructure economically. It is unclear whether such technology for the line transit system exists yet. Traveling 100 miles in 20 minutes would require a speed of 318 miles per hour, which appears to outperform existing high-speed rail by quite a bit. Eurostar trains in Europe can travel at around 199 miles per hour, according to reports. China's high-speed rail trains have also been clocked at 236 miles per hour. Now theoretically, the Hyperloop technology being developed by Elon Musk could manage the journey if it was completed. To build the line and see it complete, Saudi Arabia will have to overcome both internal and external challenges. This is especially true because of the financial and technological situation. The biggest challenge is that despite all attempts, Saudi Arabia has not been able to attract much investment from foreign companies. The reasons could be because Western countries are boycotting the country. This is over the questionable human rights record the country holds. According to some reports, over $500 billion was allotted to finish the NEON project by 2030, but some say it's more likely they will complete it in 2050. This could increase costs significantly more. Some experts estimate that this project will cost the kingdom about a trillion dollars. It is being financed by the Sovereign Investment Fund. The issue surrounding the Public Investment Fund is that it's highly dependent on the oil market, which has been volatile in recent years. This is a country where around 60% of their financial resources came from oil. The new city would need to attract future residents and investors. If they don't, 
the city will be left abandoned like all the other unfinished cities in the region. With the line still in the early stages of development, it seems too soon to know whether this 100-mile-long project will be a success. It sets a high bar for imagining what the future of cities should look like and is a bold endeavor worth following closely. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe.